welcome back nana here and in this one i am going to teach you about how to work on the existing vision instances where something is corrupt actually so i will not show you where here here people have done a lot of warranty and then they have corrupted the chart of accounts actually so i will not show you that first of all <clears throat> so if you go there and then have a look at the chart of accounts <clears throat> they have corrupted it. they made a lot of warranty and they customized the page so many things they have done and then finally it's not working nobody is able to create any chart of accounts at all likewise there may be so many problems uh what happens whenever you are getting such as such a one i will tell you about how to make yourself ready for this <clears throat> so we'll not go there we'll not go to the fsm area and then from there we'll not click on the task list and then go to the search now we'll now land up on the generic area of the search now <clears throat> i will not say man manage chart of account structures so go to the manager of account structures <clears throat> so in this one you go to the place and then here you find out <clears throat> if you give a search you will not find that there is a deployment error whatever you do fine even if you try to correct all the errors you find there will be so many errors will be remain even if you correct it whatever it may not work at all so in such cases how to do so we have to what happens is make an r and d and then find out you go to the manage structure instances you go to the manage structure instances and then try to find out one a good one and click on search mm -hmm. my god there are plenty of people who have made it now and so many structures have been made so i made a small r and d and then i found one coa readily available find out us so one coa hash us primary ledger is ready and then one ledger is also ready i found that these two things are in intact actually so likewise you have to find out whichever is intact find we will not insert ours actually so if you go there first of all we need a basic financial structure actually. so in such cases what you do is you go there i will now open up my now <clears throat> open up my and then here uh, on one minute i long go back i will now open up my uh, additional docs records why is there why open up additional docs records for it. So let me open up the additional docs records for find double click on it, and then here I will now open up the third one, vision enterprise structure, the third one. <clears throat> so here you need a ledger, you need a COA, and then you need a legal entity, and then you need a business unit before you start to create your master and child actually. So fortunately, what happens? I found that uh, these two are working. You only have to make a small R and D and then find out which ledger and which COA is working. So now what I'm going to do is I'm now going to build my structure based upon this because you'll not be able to create a chart of accounts at all in this. So I'm going to manually create my structure actually. So let me take up a, what is called a, a prefix of C02, and then I will now create a master org and then two child dogs also, right? So let me do on the C02 the location creation, and then afterwards what happens the legal entity creation everything, right? I will not tell you about how to make your structure ready when only something are working on the existing instances, right? But instance is stable. So we are going to do this exercise. Go back to connect. So now what I'm going to do is I will not give it done now. Right? Let me go on that create my location actually. C02 is the location which I'm going to create. Right? Click on the one. So manage locations. So manage the place of the one. I will now go to the place and then create a location. Actually. Here, what happens? There is an Indian instance, and so what happens? US is not working actually. Uh, uh, so you have to give what happens? You go there. Click on click on create. So C02 is my prefix. You first of all design your prefix. So nobody should have worked on it. Fine. Those R&D just make. So which prefix is used by nobody actually? And then go there. So I will now put what C02 underscore lock underscore zero. My my philosophy is what zero means what? It is for the master. Put on the code now. <clears throat> Description. I'm pasting it. And then here make the country as India because whatever it is not exactly working. If you put US is not working here. So they have done customization of this now. Right? City is what? I will not say Mumbai. I'm not giving not not here. Sorry, uh, in the bottom, find this place. What happens? Okay, here. What happens? It's coming uh, as United States. Now, find click on it. United States. Whether it works or not, we'll not see. Find click on it. So I will now go to the zip code one zero zero two zero and then give a tab now. <clears throat> we give a search. Now find geography one zero zero two zero. It is now asking you to search. Now find not working. So we'll not leave it now. Find. Whenever you get such a problem, what happens? You go there. You cancel now. We'll not change it to what India. <clears throat> 
India or some other country, whichever is okay. Now. You, try, try, you have to make a lot of warranty on this. Country. So once you look at a country, man, this information will not change actually. So go there. So I'm not putting the country as India. Because we are not very specific. We are not, uh, what happens, are doing any implementation actually. We are only testing ours now. So city, are, city is a mandatory one. I will not put Mumbai. I will not say it's a T, uh, C, 0 to fine. Address zero is the normal way in which I I name it now. Fine, both that it is a four zero 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 one. Fine, fine. fine. You no, know, leave it as such. Now, fine. You no, know, see that it works or not. With this information, we are able to save or not. Fine, click on it. So click on save now. <clears throat> so try to give minimal information, and then if it is accepting, it is okay. Fine, both that. And then click on submit. By which what happens? Sir? We are now going to create our first location because we need only uh, the location which is required for the inventory. Or we are not very specific upon all these things. <clears throat> And then we'll now make a query whether the C02, the lock which you have created is not okay or not. <clears throat> so you have to make a lot of R&D whenever something is not working on the existing one. <clears throat> so click on done now. I will go there. I will now query for the C02 now. Click on, the 02. Click on search. So go there. My master location has to come. <clears throat> it's not coming. We will now create two child locations. I click on create. And again, the nomenclature you can follow your own. Right? By my way of doing is like this now, fine, because I won't get because everywhere I'm now using the same way now, fine, so that what happens, I won't be getting stuck actually. Lock underscore one. So we'll not take a copyright, fine. Put in the code and then put the description. <clears throat> so I'll not make the country as India. India is a country, and for that command. And then here I will not make this city as Mumbai. There's a mandatory field now. <clears throat> city is what? Mumbai. And then I will not put the pin code as what 400001. And then I will not put my address fine C02 fine address one because this is the important one it will be coming up. So click on what I'm saying, submit and directly submit. So we are now creating the first child location for our for our now fine. So we'll be having two child locations because we are going to perform a transfer back to back transfer. Also, we are going to make so we need two uh, two child dogs now basically. <clears throat> so once we understand what happens, go there and then I will not create the final one. Fine, click on create one. Be getting the second location. So go there. It is a C02 fine lock underscore two. <clears throat> fine. The second location we are getting it now. Second child or location fine go there. Place it on go down and then make it as India. So you only have to make an RD fine. Maybe in this case it's working fine. If it is not working, you try fine. How it's going to work actually. Uh, oh <clears throat> okay. 400, so that what happens is you will be able to work on any instances of whatever has been given to you. Address to. So if you tune, fine tune yourself to what happens, uh, working on it now. So that will be great actually. You can start to, what happens, this instance is going to work for a longer time actually. And that is the advantage, you know, if I get on search, C02, I'm not making a search, no, you must get all the three locations. Okay, all the locations are going. You go there, go to the top, and then right click and then duplicate. Now, what I'm going to do is I will now create my LE. My LE is the owner of a company actually. So let us have our own LE. And then what happens? You do it now. Right? Go to the place, right? click on it. I will now go to the manage legal entity task. So click on search, set up and maintenance. And then you click on it. And then go to the search and right? click on search. And then go to what manage percentage fine legal percentage fine entity. So we'll now go there and then uh, do this now. Fine. Manage legal entity is the one. We'll now go there and then create a legal entity actually. <laughs> so it is the owner of a company actually. Fine. Go that count. I will now say C02 fine underscore legal underscore the entity. I'm not giving a name now. Fine. So here I will now say it's a C02 legal. Identifier. So the legal address is what I don't drop down and choose anything. It doesn't matter. Is the US jurisdiction doesn't matter. Right? Let it come in. And the place of registration, I will not say New York. Fine. I'm now doing everything on the you know, United States sector. See what's coming on. If it comes, it's good. Fine. If something is coming, fine. I will not make it as a New York. So your locations are in India, and then this is New York. It doesn't matter because we are not going to make any accounting. It. And we are not going to push any transactions, the financials, and so it's okay. And enable, enable, fine, go that. And then here always uh, the registration number and then this number must be unique actually, fine. You put your prefix and then what happens to one, two, three. Because nobody would have made it on this one. 
Um, see, zero to like four or five cents. And there is a capital small. So, okay, fine. Mm. so our legal entity is now ready. Fine, brother. So even though it is on US, it doesn't matter. Thank you for seven quotes. Locations are in India, whereas uh, the LE is in US. As long as it works for your uh, setup on uh, inventory, purchasing, product data, have an order management, then it's fine. It will work. It will not have any much of a problem. Actually. So we are now done the legal entity creation. Now we are going to go for legal entity HCM information. Fine. Then only what happens, we can very well create our legal user on the legal entity. Fine. That's a very important one. So if the legal entity, fine, you can now see manage legal entity HCM information. So this is a task. And you take on the task, manage legal entity HCM information is the one. So there you go. And then do the HCM information. We have to attach LDG. LDG is a must actually. You go and then attach your LDG actually. <laughs> so go there. So here I will not query for the C02. Fine, make a search and click search. And again, this is optional. If you are finding some other difficulty, you vary your what happens, your R and D now. And click on the hyperlink of it now on the legal entity. If this doesn't work in the instance which you are working currently, then you change, change. You will now find some solution or other to work upon. This is one of the solution I'm giving. I go there, I will not click on update now. We are updating it actually. So click on it and then update. And now we have to attach, attach LDG. If LDG is not there, then no, no legal no, no legal user can be created actually. We need LDG to be associated on the thing. And then that will be taught in a HCM training. Human capital management will be uh, conducting a big training on how to make it. Now I click on OK now. And then we have to attach LDG. <clears throat> so for the training purposes, it doesn't matter. We attach something. Right? But some LDG is a must actually. So click on OK. And then from there, what happens? You go to the payroll statutory unit. Right. From the legal employee, you go to the payroll statutory unit. There, we can very well attach it. <coughs> so we already given an edit update. So we are in the edit mode, like update mode actually. And then from that, what happens? We'll now go to the payroll statutory unit and then attach an existing LDG. Right. This itself is a big topic. They will not take on three to four hours in a HCM training actually. But uh, since we are not going to do any accounting of all of our HCM transactions, it doesn't matter because we are not going to test our HCM transactions. And so uh, uh, anything, any data is okay for us. You go to the payroll statutory unit. You go to the payroll statutory unit. There you attach one of the LDG. <clears throat> LDG is a big topic, and then you have to learn it in a very systematic manner if you want to implement it. Actually, only HCM team can teach you. Otherwise, what happens? One presence of LDG will allow you to create a legal user. Actually, you go there. You go to the associated LDG. LDG is the one. And drop it down. Choose anything. Whatever it comes. Anything is okay. <clears throat> but we need one LDG. Actually. So somebody in the HCM team has already created so many LDGs and then we will now associate that LDG into this place. For us, it doesn't matter because the locations are in India, then you, your legal entity is in US and then the LDG, maybe what happens, I'm not saying in Canada actually. <laughs> See, this Canada. It doesn't matter. And choose anything, whatever it comes and then click on submit. I'm going to click on submit. Let me check what happens. We have completed the LDG association to LDG. So, LE activity is now complete. So, now LE activity is complete. Then afterwards, what happens? We have to go on and get our business unit actually. And we have to go on and get our business unit. So, the business unit has begun. So, the business unit has to point to our LE ledger now. Fine. LE and ledger it has to point out. So, we'll now go there and then create our what am I, business unit. Okay, now I'm not done. We'll now go on and create our business unit. <clears throat> so, the business unit has to be can. <clears throat> we'll now go there. Fine. Click on done. <clears throat> So go there, done, and then we'll now go to the manage business unit and then create our business unit. Right? Manage personal right? Manage business unit. So we'll now go there and then create our business unit because now we are now building our structure actually on the existing problematic instance actually. We go to the manage business unit and then let us now create a business unit. <clears throat> so go there, click on plus now, fine. We'll now go on and create our business unit. <clears throat> Go there. So the name is what? Since I am now having my own prefixes, fine, C02, fine, I will now say business unit. Business unit is the one. So one. And then location is not mandatory, but I know I, know, I will now put my location over here, fine. That will be defaulting onto the inventory orgs now, fine. It's not coming. If I give a tab, it's not coming. I go there, drop it down. And then go and then make a search. Click on search. So click on search. And then make a search. I will now put the zero to location for the LED. Click on search. 
I'll be putting the zeroth location. Zeroth location, I'm going to allocate the master rock as well as rock and incoming. So the name is not coming. So I'll now put another code. Now find C02 code. And click on search. It's not coming. Fine. It's not coming in the code. Not in the name. Fine. But it's okay. And association of a location to a BU is arbitrary. And then here, what happens? I will now bypass the security exit. Right? It's a common set. Common set is the one thing you better. So once you give it up, what happens sometimes it doesn't work at all, fine, drop it on again on the search. <laughs> it comes, it's great. Uh, I've given a tab, but uh, it, I don't know whether it's uh, really accepted it or not. So my C02s, uh, LE and BU are now getting ready. Now what you have to do is, uh, we have to, what happens, associate all these things now, fine. Your ledger, your COA, your LE, and then the business unit, whatever that, fine. We are only going to use the existing ledger and COA, which is now okay, fine. People are not spoiled that. Uh, so go that click on it. I will not, what happens, I make a search now, search for it, and then do the common set. Search for it, and then I will not put the common set over here. So now the next part is what, I will not go there, right click and then duplicate. So go there. So we are going to associate the ledger, COA, legality, and business unit before we come into the SCM activity. In this place, what happens, I go there. So it's still coming now. Fine. Okay, in the meantime, what happens, I will not go to this place. And in this place, what happens? I will not do this association of all these things. So now the instance is somewhat slow. The what happens? The, the throughput is now coming down. Now basically, whenever the instance is slow, I will not delete everything and then come up to calm. When I duplicated it, what happens? It's not coming properly. Go there. So in the manager unit, I have to get the composite now coming fine. The zip code is what C O M M O, and then I make a search now. Okay, 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 comma. Common. Uh, create. Oh God, it has gone to the create actually. I want to make a search actually. I don't know why I'm going to create actually. <laughs> Common set will now bypass everything. So I'll go to the, what happens, the search actually. By mistake, I have not written. So you go there, click on it. So now what I do is I will now go to the FSM area. So in the business unit is under creation actually. So in this place, drop down and I will now make a search. I'm going to click on it. I'm going to drop down. I will now, instead of creating, what happens, I have to make a search. Actually. I made a mistake of clicking on the create. So here, whatever they go to the go to the SM. So we are in the FSM area. Now come to the financials. So we have to do the basic activity on linking all the things. A ledger COE, legal entity, and then business unit. We have to link now. Go to the placement. No, we are putting the different. So go down and then have a look at it. <clears throat> so we are coming to the setup and maintenance. So we'll now link it. So on the left hand side, on the FSM, what happens? They choose financials. They choose financials. And then query for the managed primary ledger. We have to query for the managed primary ledger. It's not great. It's not search. Now, but click on the search. So click on the search and search for it. Don't go there. So in this place, it's still coming. So it's all slow actually. Sometimes the instance will be slow. Sometimes it will be fast. We have to live with that. Now, we don't have any other book. So we'll now search for the common and then associate my my business unit actually. So whenever you're searching for it, the name goes away. Actually. The name goes away. So we have to give again the name and then wait. The manager is again optional. Fine. It doesn't have any functionality on stuff. Fine. So uh, set code is what? C O M M O and then I make a search and I click on search. And so that it is able to search out. Otherwise, you have to put on this the name not sometimes. So sometimes what happens in this place it has to come now. If it comes, it's great. Actually. <clears throat> so in this place, what happens? They go that's still coming. It is not yet come. And what is this place? <clears throat> so go there. So we have a common set now, fine. Because so many people have already made it now, fine. There will be a system common set. So we'll not try to use that actually. So there will be a system common set. Uh, this is a, a, a common dummy common. This is the one. And I want to use the systems common set and click on it. So once when you're given, what happens? We have to go and then give a name also. The name is gone actually. So in this place, what happens? You go there. So choose financials in the left hand side. Choose financials and then go to the manage primary ledger. So this is the first task where you're going to link all the four. Fine. Ledger, COA, Lee, and BU. Please go there. So common set is not a thing. So the name is what? C02. My business unit. So by doing it, what happens? The business unit is now getting created. So the business unit is now getting created. So that is now going. In. <clears throat> so we'll now go here. Now go to the we'll change it to financials, and then here we go on the search for what manage primary ledger. And that is the first activity. I do. So we are saving it, saving it. Come on, yeah. So so we had to live with the speed of <laughs> more ago. <laughs> <laughs> and then this is one of the method of what happens uh, jumping into the existing uh, visions data and then doing it. 
financial is come fine. Put the manager in the You may even find a better method. So as and when you start to practice, you'll be able to work very efficiently on this. Go ahead, click on it. <coughs> so go ahead. So this manage business unit is now complete and fine. Go ahead, come on. You know, querying on that manage primary ledger. The first two one is what specify ledger options. Right? Specify ledger options. And then uh, since they have already created the ledger, they have already done the specific ledger options also. Otherwise, you only have to do. So you are with, and then they have already done it. I will not show you what they have done. Right. So we are in the FSM area. It is a scope, scope, scope specific one. So from there we are now querying on the primary ledger. So go to the specific ledger options as the first task. You have to go there and then go to the specific ledger options as the first task. So if that is not done, you have to do it. So this is now completed on this placement account. So the user business unit is now created. Now come over here now. So once when the search is now complete, we'll be in a position to what? Do things <clears throat> manage the is coming now. I will not go to the specific ledger options. Now, what happens? You have to give the scope now. Right? So, here the scope is already US primary ledger. You see, US primary ledger, US. So, this is what is US primary ledger, US the one. So, the scope is already selected. Otherwise, you select the scope actually. So, I have already selected the scope, done it, fine, I've done it. So, if this is done, what happens? I can click on this. Otherwise, you have to click on it and then choose the scope now. So, since it is already done, I go there and then have a look. specific ledger options the first activity. So, you have to see to it that. The ledger options are specific for your primary ledger, and uh, they have done it actually. Since uh, somebody is working on it, what I mean, they have already done it actually. You go there and see, I mean, they'll be able to see all the ledger options. So, one thing is what the uh, <clears throat> one account it has to be what the owner's equity actually. You have to specify the owner's equity in this place, right? So, normally, what happens in emissions in normal 3 3 starting on 3 3 are all owner's equity actually. So, that account has to be given actually. <clears throat> so, they have already given it. And then that is the only thing. And then afterwards, I uh, give the language as American English and then save it if nothing is given. The remaining ones, you need not bother at all because they are all financials. And so so that much is sufficient for us to work on the supply chain, actually. Don't go there. So here, I'm not in the financials area. Fine. Here also, what happens? I will not put managed primary. Managed percentage. Fine. Primary percentage. Fine. Lid percentage. This is also a, so in this place, what happens? They are going in a fine. Specific ledger option, you are going in fine. Now go to the next one. In this place. So it is already done. I'm only going to show it to you. Right? If this is not done, I will tell you that one place, what happens, you have to specify the owner's equity actually. You go to the setup and maintenance fine. I know, querying on this one fine. So after having done the, uh, what happens, the specific ledger options. Right? If it is not done, you do it. Otherwise, if it is there, accept it. Right? Don't do anything at all. Because we are now creating a minimal, common, minimal financial structure actually. That is what you are doing it. Right? You go there and then click on it. Manage <clears throat> Oh God, instance is very slow. <laughs> so it has come. Here you see, in this place, they have given a 331000. Anything starting on 330 is normally the retained earnings account. It is, it is it must be 33. In the vision, we have accounts on 333. And then if you choose it, what happens? It, it works very well. And then general language is American English. So these two only you get the remaining. If you don't know, but don't worry at all. Fine. Don't give anything at all. But you know, working on financials and so he has given a lot of accounts. You don't worry. Fine. Don't give anything. But this is the minimum ones. This is a mandatory field. Retained earnings is a mandatory field. And the journal language is a mandatory field. You give it and then give it save and close. Three three starting on three three in vision. What happens? There is the owner's equity action. You go to this placement over. So it's still coming. <laughs> so you done it. So I'm not saving anything. I'm not canceling it. Whenever you are on the form, if you have not done anything, you will cancel and come. There is a software logic actually. You should not save and come out. People have a habit of saving and coming out or save and close. That is not correct at all because we are not done any changes at all. Because by mistake, if you put some something over here like nine tara, and then if you give a save and close, that will be getting saved. So by mistake, if you have done something, what happens? Your mistake also will be getting saved actually. So do not save or save and close once with the purpose is to only view. Fine, give a cancel and then come out. That is a software logic. Actually. Oh God, slow, slow, slow. <clears throat> So we have seen the specific ledger options. Okay, fine. If it is not there, you provide the retained earnings account starting on 3-3 as account number. The remaining are all, anything is okay. And then the uh, the language is American English. Then afterwards, what happens? We have to associate our LE to the ledger actually. Fine. This is what us. We have to associate our LE. Fine. Our LE has to be associated to the ledger actually. And they have already done. 
for the ledger. So many LEs. So our LE also has to be associated with. So this is what's called what uh, ego the analysis is fine. It's called assign legal entities. And the scope is what our our ledger actually. So our ledger fine. Click on the assign legal entities. And then associate our LE to the ledger actually. So it can have any number of uh, one primary ledger uh, can be whatever the used by many many fine go that one so many are coming. So click on plus and then add US. Fine click on plus US primary ledger. So the legal entities what C zero two and then make a search and then choose yours and then whatever you go there and then give apply and then done so now our L, L, our ledger is now associated with uh, ledger is our le is associated with the ledger and click on save and close so this is now done fine this activity is done so now what about the you, know, you must assign a balancing segment value to the legal entity and so it was coming there is the next step actually the balancing segment value we are doing. Okay? We're giving a warning, fine. But what happens for the LE? We have to assign the balancing segment. Fine. So that's why it's okay. We are going to do it immediately. So assign balancing segment value to LE. So initially we did the specific entry options. Now assign legal entities. Now assign balancing segment value to legal entities. We are going to assign the balancing segment value to legal entities. <clears throat> So assign balancing segment value to legal entities. Go there. So here, what happens? You go there. I will now first of all give a plus now. Fine. Click on plus. And that let us now add our LE with a balancing segment. One balancing segment is sufficient actually. So go there. So LE is what? C02. And you have now. The one now. And then company value. Go there. Drop it down. Uh, any company value is okay. We have to balance on each and every company actually. Remember, we have to balance. And then this will be coming from the chart of accounts actually. The chart of account, these values are coming. Fine. Let it come anything. Fine. Okay. Fine. Give us save and close. Save and close. Maybe it should happen, sir. Our LE is now assigned to 102. <coughs> So a balancing segment has been assigned to LE. There are so many LEs are there. So by which what happens is not there. I will know what happens. Do you have any query mode here now? There's no query mode. So we only have to go on and search on this in the bottom. Uh, it may be somewhere available in the bottom. But see, so many guys have done it. So ours is also assigned actually. <clears throat> so with one value. Uh, we'll now see whether we can query it or not. So we are unable to query it actually can use an C02 is not coming at all. Not done actually. It is not coming. See, ours is coming. Ours is coming with one of the values. So one balancing segment of our LE is now associated. Fine. So click on save and close. So assigning is now complete. So by which what happens? We are now completed. This LE association to ledger actually. Fine. Information. You must assign at least one balancing segment. So okay, we are done it. LE association is not. Then what happens? We have done these three activities, remember. Right? Again, I'm telling you, fine. specific ledger options, then assign legal entities, and then assign balancing segment values to legal entities. After having done these three, what happens? We have to, what happens? Review and then submit, actually. We have to review and then submit the accounting configuration. So we'll be finding one. A review and then submit now. So it normally comes because of that. This is the uh, instance time. So I'm not getting the, normally it will be coming in the, in the top itself somewhere now. When you are querying on the, uh, we'll be getting a review, fine, is not right. See? Review and then submit accounting configuration for your primary ledger here. So these three activities, specific ledger options, and then assign legal entities, and then uh, uh, do this, no, fine. Assign, not this one. See, this is now coming as a select, no, fine. If you choose this, what happens, it may go into your secondary ledger also. In the top, we have no. Specific ledger options, not this one. In the top, you have to use it, no, fine. Specific ledger options, assign legal entities, and then assign, you go and then review and then submit. Fine. Well, no, review and then submit for us, fine. fine. So once when you submit it, what happens, uh, the skeleton financial structure, for our LE primary ledger is ready. <laughs> Review and then separate. LE primary ledger combination <clears throat> is now ready. With our chart of accounts is already there. Since the primary ledger is now choosing the uh, showing the chart of accounts, fine, go that. It's okay. <clears throat> so we are going to choose on one of the companies one is what is. So review and then submit, fine, go that on it. And then what happens is simply submit. Right? Because everything is already there. Fine. If you go there, I will not query now. Fine. C02, and then make a search now. Fine. On it. LE, if you query, you'll be finding it now. <laughs> So it's okay, fine. One or two is the company value is not coming. Fine. So the one. So click on submit by which what happens, it will be getting associated. Fine. So the one. Uh the primary fine. Associated is fine. Click on submit. So we are now completed the skeleton financial structure. Next, what we are going to bring in the BU. So next, what we are going to bring in the BU. So we already create the BU. So what you have to do is you have to bring in the BU. Fine BU. So we are now going to say our BU is going to point to which LE and then which ledger actually. Our BU is going to point to which LA and then which LA. And what are the functions you need it actually? 
you have to say what are the functions. So you know you must assign a balancing segment to all legal entities before God. It is not accepting it fine. Some of the things are not assigned with the balancing segment actually. So it is not accepting it fine because somebody has made a mistake by not assigning uh, the balancing segment. It doesn't matter. But what happens when when this fails actually? This fails. What happens? You will not be able to push the transaction to the financials. But our our idea is not to push at all. So review and then submitting is failing. It doesn't matter. You can leave it as such. If you query for it, and then if you submit for it, what happens? Somebody has not done the balancing segment for the early early association to ledger actually. So that is why it is not throwing an error. Leave it. It doesn't matter. We throw an error. It is not a big problem for us. The only thing is you cannot do any financial search. So we will now go to the next activity also. Right? We will now go to the next activity. We will now go to the phase number two. We will now go to the next step. Right? So we will again come back to what happened the setup and maintenance. And that will not do the next activity of what happens associating our BU to LE to ledger. That is what it is. So we are going to associate our BU and the LE and ledger by which what happens our whole financial activity is now complete. What is this? It's still showing error now. <clears throat> now showing you the same error. Fine, click on OK and then give a cancel. So we are unable to do this review and then submit. It doesn't matter. For our supply chain activity, it doesn't matter. So we go there and then what happens? We'll now uh, uh, associate our uh, what happens? The business unit to ledger and then LE now. Now on the FSM area on the financial setups, what happens? We go there. It's called manage busy busy. So go to the manage busy busy. Right? Manage business unit business function. So we are going to say we are now here. We are going to associate our LEB LE ledger. So this business unit will be associated to our early ledger by which what happens, whole financial activity is completed. We can start to create our master and child or box. Uh, no, manage. It's not manage, it's assign actually. It's assign busy busy. Right. It's a wrong one. So I have to choose assign busy busy. Assign busy busy is a function fine. I will not go on and make a search. <clears throat> So we are now going to first of all choose assign business unit business function. So the business unit scope is now different. Now, right? I will not change it. Now, right? I will not change the scope of it. Assign busy busy. <clears throat> and go there. And drop it down. Select an ad. And then apply and go to task. And then choose our search. You can choose it. So go there. I will not query for the C02. Right? Click on search. We are going to associate this. We are going to assign the LEP. Fine. LE primary ledger actually for this LE primary. Select on the left hand side. Do not click on the hyperlink of it. Select on the left hand side and then the bottom give a save and close. Select it from the left hand side and then give a save and close by which what happens on which one we are now going to associate our ledger BO. And then here uh, in compared to e-business, uh, we have one extra thing. What what are the things you want to enable? No, still not working fine. This this activity is not working. There is some error on this now fine. So we can't help it here. Wait for it now. When you go to the assign business unit business function for your business unit, right, normally enable everything. Right? Enable everything. Because sometimes what happens, some features may be required in future actually. So it is preferable to enable everything because once when it is enabled, later on you can use it. Not that if it is a payable payment is enabled, that you have to use it. No, right? it's okay. It is only the eligibility criteria like a passport. So if you have a passport, we can travel to any country actually. Like this, what happens, each and every functionality you are enabling it. That is the best practice actually. So you enable it. Now, what is your ledger LE? You know, fine. This is what I said. So the ledger and LE, we are going to link it actually. So the ledger is what you go there, drop it on, and then choose your ledger actually. And then go to the search and click on search. I will not choose the ledger. So C02. And then once when I put it, the LE will come automatically because the ledger LE combination has already been done. And so what happens if you go on the search on it, my click on search now. So once when you search for it, you'll be getting it. <clears throat> C02 and then I click on search. It has to show me the early ledger combination in the bottom actually. So go there. So go to the advanced. If it is not coming, what happens? I will now say start with and then make a search. So early business combination. Sometimes what happens? It needs a logout and login. Whenever you do all these things, you need a logout and login. I will now say contains C02 and then I make a search. So some, sometimes what happens, you may have to, after having done the financials, you may have to log out on. So you, we haven't got it. Somebody's C02 is coming. So ours is not coming. So give a cancel now. 
So let me load and log in and then do it now. Thank you, Francois. So sign out and sign in. Not, not close everything. No, no, yeah. Again, business unit. So I have now done the logout and login, and then I will now again query on the assign business unit business function. So for which, what I was now the scope is already set actually. So I will now go there straight away, and then I will now go on and enable all the functionalities. So let me enable all the functionalities, and then I will now provide my C02 <coughs> ledger. My ledger is what, uh, it is not C02 actually, and I made a mistake actually. My ledger is what, this is the ledger actually. So we have to put our ledger and then choose the B, you know, fine. The mistake is what, I made a mistake there. So because of it, it's not coming actually. So my ledger is not C02, fine. We don't have any ledger like this, man. So we have to put the appropriate ledger, then only it will be coming now, fine. Brother. So let me enable all the functionalities. Ledger is not C02. One thing is LE and BU or C02. The mistake I made. Click on it, click on it. Select everything. Thank you for selecting it. I'll go there. So our BU is going to work with which ledger and then which LE. That is what we are not doing it now. Everything is selected actually. So we now have take a copy of this now. The ledger name is what we are primarily ready to use. Now take copy. And then paste it. Give a tap. So once when you give a tap, it will not show you all the LEs which are associated. You drop it off. So go there, click on search. So here LE is ours actually. So go there. So LE is what C02. And click on search. Attribute primary ledger is required actually. Primary ledger is about this one. So this and this combination you are going to see in my attribute primary ledger is required actually. Ah, coming. Sometimes what happens, you have to go to the advanced and then make a search actually. And this combination, we have to search for it. So go there. So click on the advanced and then make a search. So without this, what happens, we will also search as a click. So it starts with this one. And this one, I will not leave it as a show. So click on search. Yes, let me give it. Yes. So click on search and then see whether the combination of ledger legality is now available or not. still. So what I did is uh, I put some primary ledger and then legal entity in the drop down list box and then I saved it. Then afterwards I made a modification by putting US primary ledger, my legal entity came. So you had to go some uh, sort of a, what happens, R&D on this now, right? So initially put something and then it gets saved. And then afterwards you query on your ledger and then search my combination of any primary ledger has come. You click on okay. <clears throat> it's coming up now. So somewhere, something you have to do. Uh, updating the primary ledger may impact pending transactions is okay. Fine, click on okay now. Because now you are updating the primary ledger. So give a save and close by which what happens. Your activity on the financials is now ready. <laughs> so we are now completed the financial activities. Now let us go there and then create our, what's called the inventory R. Mm -hmm. We have to go on and create our inventory R now. Uh, okay. We we'll have to go on and get our inventory or <clears throat> so go there. So click on this and then you go to search and then click on search. So the financial activities is now complete. Mm -hmm. So again, I have to open the file again. Open up the vision price. So here uh, the ledger, COE, legal entity, and then business unit, everything is now associated. Let us now go on and get our master and child or by which what happens. The structure is ready for us. So I'm going to do it. And then the structure becomes ready now. So I'm going to this link. Uh, I don't know what to set up. I'm going to go to the, so go to the search. Now, click on search. And then manage inventory org is the one. And then you have to put your locations very appropriately. If the locations are not put properly, then also what happens? You'll be getting a problem. Fine, go that. Manage inventory org. So manage inventory org is the one. Fine, go that. Let us now create our master org. So we are going to create our master R. So you must remember your entity names actually. So in this place, what happens is we have to remember our entity names. Otherwise, it will be very difficult actually. So we have to remember our entity names in this place. What happens is 
your ledger is us and then coa is what not this cs some other coa actually and then legal entity is what c02 and then the business unit is also c02 so so this way the ledger is us primary ledger but as the business unit and then legal entity is the double ledger <clears throat> Now go there, click on it. So I will now select it and then go there. So manage inventory or click on plus one. Click on plus one. Click on plus. And then I will now give what? It's a C02. Right? And then I'm going to say master log. Master log is over. And I'm going to give the code from capital C020. So that is how I name it now. So the management business unit is what? C02 and then give it a tag. So the unit now. So the units look zeroth location will be coming automatically. That will be reserving it for the master and drop down. So the LD we had to choose now. Now choose our LD actually. So the primary ledger has got association to so many LDs. Fine, our LD has to be associated. Click on search. Associate our LD. So C02 is the one. So make a search. Click on search. We are searching for it now. So we'll now put our LD over here. So only when you have completed all the assigned business unit business function. Then only the financial activities is complete. Then, then only whatever the, we can now create our own. Then order now find that command and then click on next. So here uh, uh, the master log is what the same log C02. You would have find the master and master are same actually. We are now creating the master's work in schedule. You drop down and then choose the schedule. Otherwise, whatever you create a schedule actually. <clears throat> Any schedule is okay for supply chain. Whereas what happens uh, you for, if you are going to use manufacturing or shipping or planning, then it must be very appropriate. And then make it as a locator control. And then have a habit of what making the organization the manufacturing and maintenance also. And later on, what happens? You may be using it actually. So any schedule is okay because inventory will now work 24 hours a day. Right? It does put as a schedule actually. Whereas you are planning and then you are shipping and then manufacturing will be sensitive to this thing. I will not click on personal file, I will not create my first child actually. So C02. Child one is the one. So the organization code over capital C zero two one. And the business unit is what C02. And then give it a tap. And then here change the location to one now. Right? One, if you give it a tap, then I can see the address is also going to come to one now. So one address should not be assigned to multiple org. That is a very important one. Drop down C02 and then give it a tap. If it comes, it's, otherwise, what happens? It doesn't come. You had only two. It's coming, okay, fine. The business unit is also coming. So everything is coming back. Click on next. <clears throat> go to the next. So here, what happens? We go there, put a C02, and then choose your master. You have choose master. So once when this org and this org are different, it is a child org. And then grouping behavior, make it as a definition org. And then choose initiative. Initiative, I'm choosing it. Locator control is what? To get an implement a And then have a habit of what? Enabling this tool. Later on, you may use it actually. I click on seven close by which you have so the enterprise structure is now created actually. Having done this, one more setup has to be done. Fine. Only one org I have created. Uh, then afterwards, what happens? You have to tie the location to org. Similarly, what happens? You, you do the second org also. Manage locations to manage the Locations to So your enterprise structure is now fully ready. <clears throat> you go to the manage location, then query your location. And then query the respective locations, right? the master to master, and then the child to child. Actually. So by which we complete our activity on this. Go there. There will no query on the C02. Right? Click on search. Click on search. Searching for it. So once when you search for it, you'll be getting it now. So zeroth location, I will now go for an update. Now. Right? Click on update. You are now performing an update actually. Select it. And here. An update. So in the update, what happens? Accept the first one. Fine, click on okay. No. There is no action reasons are required. Now. And then put your master. Already. So the zeroth location will be tied to the master. Actually, it's called location organization tie. Actually, this is not a must in EBS. Now, fine. Only your back-to-back -back process as well as your IR ISO needs a tie. Whereas here, everything needs a tie. Actually, each and every R needs a tie. Go to the place, man. I'll now put C02, C02. And then here, whatever you go there, I'll now put the master. Right? Go there and then submit. So by which, what happens, I have complete. So it is now complete, now fine. The master is now complete. And then similarly, you do the time for the child also. 
So only one inventory org I created, the second one is a lab exercise for you. Let it as such now. So the location organization tie is not done now. Similarly, what happened? The second one also keep your customer on the second one. And then you go to edit and then perform an update now. Edit and update, we're doing it. Okay, now. Okay, now. Go there. Inventory org is what? C02. And then I will now put the child. Lock one to child one, actually. And then click on submit, which it is not done. So this completes the what happens your financial structures as well as our uh, this thing also. So for both of them, you are now completed. So the financial structure is also created, and our supply chain structure is also created. Only one org, and then similarly the second org also. Speak. Then afterwards you can start to set up your uh, inventory or procurement or order management, whichever you want to set. You can very well set up because the structure is ready actually. Right? How to set the what happens? The fin structure as well as the CM structure on an existing uh, observation one. So bye for now, and then we'll meet on some other video.